क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम ईकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी प्रॉब्लम व्हिच इज बेस्ड ऑन ट्रैपेजोइडल रूल लेट अस स्टार्ट विद प्रॉब्लम नंबर 1 Evaluate integral two to seven dx upon x using trapezoidal rule. Taking n is equal to five. Value of n represents number of intervals that should be taken from two to seven. So two to seven needs to be divided in five equal parts. And the difference between the two intervals is given by the formula h is equal to b minus a upon n. Now what is b? B is the upper limit. A is the lower limit. And n is given. Sometimes the value of n is not given, but directly h is given. H basically represents the class interval difference. Let us consider this given integral i. The lower limit a is equal to two, upper limit b is seven, and n is equal to five. Now to find the number of intervals, we have the formula h is equal to b minus a upon n, that is seven minus two upon five, which will give you one. So starting from two, we will increase each number by one up to seven. That will be the values of x. So let us make the table where we are going to represent x and the value of one upon x. So in this table, we are going to write the limits of x. X is starting from two and will end at seven. Number of parts should be equal to five. And after that, each will be increased by one. So two plus one will give you three. Three plus one will give you four, and five, six, and at last we will have seven. Now let us consider the given function as y, which can be written as one upon x. The function is given as one upon x. After substituting x as two, we will get one upon two. For three, we have one upon three. For four, one upon four. Similarly, for last term, we will have one upon seven. After that, you can number these terms as y zero, y one, y two, y three, y four, and y five. Now let us write the trapezoidal rule. Trapezoidal rule is given by the formula integral a to b f of x dx is equal to h by 2 y 0 plus y n means first term plus last term plus twice the addition of remaining terms that is y 1 plus y 2 plus y 3 plus y 4. So let us use this formula in order to get integral of 2 to 7 of 1 by x dx. Using the trapezoidal rule, we have integral two to seven one by x dx that is equal to h by two. The value of h is one. In bracket, we have y zero plus y n that is first term is one by two and last term is one by seven. Plus twice we have added the remaining terms that is one by three, one by four, one by five, and one by six. In the next step, we have added these two fractions that will give you nine by fourteen, and from these four fractions, we have taken sixty as the LCM. So to make this sixty, we need to multiply this by twenty. So one into twenty will give you twenty. Similarly, to make four as sixty, we need to multiply it by fifteen. So one into fifteen will give you fifteen. For five, we should multiply by twelve, and for six, we should multiply by ten. So one into ten will give you ten. In the next step, here will be two ones are two thirties are, and addition of all these terms will give you fifty seven. Now let us solve these two fractions.
Now in these two fractions, taking 210 as LCM, in the numerator we have 135 plus 399, that will give you 534 upon 210. On further simplification with 2, we will give 267 upon 210, that is equal to approximately 1.2714. Therefore, integral of 1 by x from 2 to 7 will be equal to approximately 1.2714. This is our final answer. I hope friends you have understood this problem. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Igida and subscribe to Igida.